Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan and today we are reacting to a TikTok. I've really been enjoying doing this lately. You guys have seemed to like it as well. You've been tagging me a lot over there, DMing me things. Um, and this is one that I received quite a bit. So we're gonna react and we're gonna reconvene. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. So let's get started. If I find a girl that I wanna make my wife and I find her super attractive. Make your wife. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because that's what I would do. I would make her my wife. I would ask her to marry me and then make her my wife. You say you are a feminist. You're 100 percent feminist. That is feminist. <laughs> you look. You like, you heard me about, say that. Oh, you I heard make her my wife. Like. Yeah, because that's what I would matter. do. It's I, like, I, I'm an equal human, the woman. It, well, it, you you you, you, you say to that. Make her your wife. Obviously, she would want to be she my wife. She has her own life. She wants to be your wife too. Yeah, of course, but she's she not going to go to the club. She wants to do her makeup. No, she's not going she to want to go to clubs. She's not yeah, going to want to go to clubs. No, because here's the thing: that's a non-negotial for me in marriage. Okay, well if then, I, if, good I find, if I find luck. a woman, if there's plenty of women out good there luck. that don't want to go to clubs all the time, okay, well, there's plenty of women out there that don't want to go to clubs girl. in tiny little dresses and get hit on by guys all the time. Ooh, brutal. All right. That was, that lost some brain cells. Okay, <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts. I'm sure you do as well. We're gonna go through a couple different things here. The first thing that I just wanna get out of the way uh, is that the club sucks. And I know we don't have the full context here. I don't know what was said before this conversation or after or between, it's obviously cut up. Um, but I was confused when she said, women wanna go to the club, women wanna do their makeup. Okay, what does that have to do with being a wife. What does that have to do with the conversation? I guess I'm just not sure where that came from because it seems a little bit irrelevant, but okay. And honestly, just being transparent here, I would rather stub my toe or have a hangnail than go to the club. I have absolutely zero interest, so don't be fooled. There are women out there who do not find enjoyment going out and drinking or going to the club. And this is not even like a pick me type of thing, trying to be cool, trying to, like I feel like the pick me is actually the one who's going to the club, trying to hook up with guys. Wouldn't that be the pick me? Correct me if I'm wrong. Also, I'm thinking of all the girls I hang out with. All my friends would not want to go to the club. Like I can't even tell you the last time any of them were at the club. Um, so just rest assured knowing there are people who don't want to do that. And also I wouldn't want to be with a guy who wanted to go to the club. I'm 27 years old. If you're still going to the club, it's a little concerning. And I think a lot of people try to shame people online when they share their values or things that are important to them. But let me just say that you should absolutely want to be with someone who shares core values to you and has life goals and morals that align with yours. That's so important and something that I think a lot of people don't consider because their preferences and standards are wacky. Um, and that's why relationships fail. That's why people get divorced because they aren't making sure that their values, life goals, morals are aligned in a way that would create a fulfilling, happy, healthy relationship. And do not let someone make you feel bad for wanting this. It is quite literally the bare minimum and the foundation in which your relationship is based upon. It's kind of important. And I'll just give you a personal example here. I do not like to drink and I do not like to go out. So finding someone who's aligned in that department was really important to me. Lifestyle is a big factor to consider when you're dating people, especially if you plan to marry that person. And something that really stood out to me when I was watching this clip is, don't you think it's funny how people try to justify their poor behavior or their bad habits by saying, oh, well, good luck finding someone who isn't like that. When in reality, there are plenty. This to me was just such a projection and a sign of emotional immaturity in my opinion. She said, good effing luck finding that. And then she said, have fun with that girl. Projection to me, but anyway, my point here is that it's a perfectly fine thing to not wanna be with someone who goes to the club or drinks all the time. I don't either. And it's more common than you think. I saw something the other day that said, is alcohol becoming the new cigarettes? Like a lot of people are not drinking anymore becoming more common. People are finally waking up to the fact that you're poisoning yourself, but I digress, that's for another video. The next thing I wanna talk about was this unnecessary combativeness and the fact that someone who always tries to pick apart everything you say in order to start an argument or to be combative unnecessarily is just a headache. And again, I know that we didn't get the full context of what the conversation was like before this or after this. Maybe she was already triggered and irritated, I don't know. But I was a little bit taken aback by how unnecessarily combative she was and aggressive about 
something lovely that he said, which was, you know, when I find a woman that I want to make my wife, I guess I just don't understand why she was triggered by that. And it also wasn't like he said it in a bad tone. His tone was pleasant. He was just making a statement um, and she was incredibly triggered by that. And again, just like started a fight for no reason, it seemed like. And I am all about having your own opinions, having healthy discussions with people. You don't always have to agree about everything. So let's not get it twisted here. I'm not saying that women should be quiet or agree with everything that a man says just because it comes out of a man's mouth, okay? That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is do you really wanna be with a woman who is starting an argument over nothing all the time or being unnecessarily combative 24 seven? I sure wouldn't. To me, it's just unhealthy. It's not productive. Like why make a mountain out of a molehill? One thing I wanna say that I think a lot of people don't realize is people who are extremely combative, extremely argumentative, um, especially in ways that are unnecessary or you feel like they start an argument over nothing, they are constantly trying to start a fight, they wanna be heard so bad. And it often stems from a deep-rooted issue there, like there's something deeper going on. Um, it could be past childhood trauma. I'm not a medical professional, so I'm not going to sit here and diagnose anything or you know talk about medical disorders. But again, just want to mention that it's often a sign of a really deep issue there. And the last most obvious thing I want to talk about here is this make her my wife thing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how it works. Unless this girl is planning on getting down on one knee and asking her man to marry her, a man does in fact make you his wife by asking you to marry him. It's how it works. And many women have an elaborate fantasy plan in their head about how they would like to be proposed to, what the ring's gonna be like, how he's gonna ask, what he's gonna do, where it's gonna be, who's gonna know. I mean, it's something women fantasize about their entire lives. So then to say, oh, make her my wife, it's like, well, yeah. You don't become a man's wife unless he wants you to be. And you wanna be. So I guess if you have an issue with a man making you his wife, then he doesn't need to ask you. You can ask him, right? And you don't need an engagement ring. And you definitely don't need a proposal then. It's not like he's just walking up to a random girl on the street like, yep, making her my wife. She's my wife. No, you're in a relationship. You take that next step together, obviously, but he's still making you his wife by asking you to marry him. Again, the girl really does not ask. That's a very rare, uncommon thing. Are more people doing it now than they used to? For sure, like anything else. And something that I think a lot of women don't know that I've personally learned a lot more about from just doing this YouTube channel is that there's a really big difference between women that men will date casually or hook up with and women that men want to be married to. I think a lot of girls think, oh, well, I have been with a millionaire before, or, oh, well, I've you know slept with all these people or dated all these people casually, so I'm obviously wife material. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. And that's just kind of the way it is. I mean, women do the same thing with men that they would date, but they wouldn't marry necessarily. Or men that they'll be friends with and use for things, but not date them and leave them in the friend zone. So I know this video led us down a bunch of different topic paths, um, but I thought it was interesting to dissect this and just see the things that stood out to me personally as red flags that do not give me the vibe of being wifey material, um, but even more than that, just kind of negative traits that I think a lot of people have nowadays of being you know, unnecessarily argumentative and combative for no reason, picking a fight over nothing, um, picking apart words and you know latching onto them in a way where you totally just disregard and don't hear th anything else that the person says because you're so fixated on these words and I don't know I just think everyone's very sensitive and it makes being on the internet pretty hard so to wrap this video up don't let anybody make you feel bad for wanting to be with someone who shares you know core values goals morals as you i think that's really important and again the foundation that your relationship is built upon there are tons of girls out there that don't want to go to the club or don't want to go out and drink and party all the time if you personally don't like that yourself why would you want to be with someone like that and let me tell you something else you're much more likely to find a girl who doesn't like to go to the club than a lot of women are to find a man over six feet making six figures, but that doesn't stop them from wanting it or them feeling like they deserve it. Shoot for the stars. 
Anyway, I've gone on long enough. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.